Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Our objective is to get these adorable little green creatures. Um, where can we find more about these adorable little green creatures? Yes, no, these adorable little green creatures. We're going to send them into space and hopefully bring them back again. First off, we need to discover more about what's going on around us because one of the key things that Kerbals lack is a basic understanding of anything. I think, given the complete lack of anything else on the planet Kerbin, the, they're an underground species. So, first off, let's learn a bit more about what's around us. Hello, Werner von Kerman. Yes, vehicle assembly. We shall start with a pod. And we shall put, not the pilot, but a scientist in the pod. And this will be pod one. Mission pod one, save, launch. There we go. So this is, yep, chatter on the way. This is the blasted piece of ground. That um, is essentially our launch pad. And we should learn more about it. So first off, let's get a crew report. Crew the crew assessment of the situation. Thank you very much. Um, don't have a lot of battery power, so I will keep that experiment. Grand. In the interim, Bill, or in this case, Bob, get out. Get an EVA report from the launch pad. Don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here. No, no, it wasn't. Keep that report. Take data, store data. Grand. All right then, Bob. Let go. Well done. We have now successfully let go. All right. From the launch pad. We will keep that, just in case. What's this one? Contracts. I do have one along these menus down the side here. Science. We have got very little science complete. EV report will land on Kerbin Shore. Nice. Settings window. All experiments. So all not sure right, so all the trans available in this mission. So all experiments available right now. All right. Okay, fair enough. Hide complete experiments. Shiny. Compact window. That's not very compact, but we'll tuck that up over there just for now. All right then, Bob. Get back in the capsule. Grab. Board. Yes, I will dump those rounds because I've got an extra EVA report. Right, okay, we will now recover the vessel. And thus, what will we have learnt? We will have learnt the following. Gather from we've got 1.4 science from looking at the launch pad and deciding that yes, it is indeed a launch pad. We got out and went and double checked because we couldn't trust it just outside the window. So we gained 3.5 science. So a total of three and a bit science. We got the money back from the pod. Um, we didn't even need really to put more on it. And Bob gained a single XP from doing that. So a quick check of our medal list. Bob has got a medal. Got a Kerbin Surface EVA. And a scientific service EVA. Thank you very much, Bob. Well done indeed. Now we've done that. What we should probably do is head over to the space plane area and make sure we check out our runway. So we'll want a pod, and we'll want someone who can give us a good assessment of, the, of that. So Bill, the engineer. All right. Something I do need to do. Aerodynamic overlay, central mass overlay, enhance mode. There's a button around here somewhere huh? that lets me rotate these things. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's um, put the cur the pod that way up, and that'll be runway pod one. Save and launch. So if you would be so kind, Bill. You would indeed be so kind, Bill, as to give us a crew report from here. 
falling in the runway. Good thing it's not all air traffic, because I don't think we've got clearance to be in the tower. You do have clearance to be in the tower, Bill. Not just not to be going anywhere. Now, if you wish the guidance to get out, let go. Wander over towards the camera just a little bit. And then give me an e-report. Yes, yes it wasn't. And thank you very much. And then you will... Uh, let's try grab. And then get on board. And we will recover this vessel. So we will have learned a bit more science, having checked that the runway is in working order. The food parts. And that means Bill probably also now has an EVA ribbon and a science ribbon. Thank you very much. Yep, Bill got no new ribbons. We'll leave the... We'll leave that so the summary on. Nice. Alright. Now, let's actually go up, shall we? Rather than just putting around, we'll have a pod. In between episodes, I will learn a drone double check how I can get these things to um, rotate slightly more finely. Which pretty convinced. Ah, there it is. It's hiding behind my data thing. So, tool, place, move, rotate. And reroute. Alright, don't have any fuel tanks. What engine have I got? The Flea! Whilst considered by some to be a little more than a trash bin full of boom, the RT5 used for many space programs, possibly because indeed a very useful trash can full of bang. So, we've got with this, I've got a mod that tells me exactly the be at 964L3 and 8.8 .8 second burn. That'll do nicely. Uh, I don't want to put any girders on it, couplings, no. Probably useful to have a set of three. Very basic fins to make sure it goes oop. No reasonably straight line, no electrics, no communications. Science! Utility. We should make sure that there is indeed a parachute on it. And we do have some science. A flight unit allows me to have a Kerbal Space um, Engineer data stuff. Base is a data system. Don't need it for this one. But we do have the mystery goo. The unit is something our engineers came upon while dumpster diving. Uh, researching alternative applications for existing technologies. It's a can of thing. They've no idea what said thing is, but they're very determined. They want to see what it does when you send it into space. So, we're not going to get to space today. We will not be going to space today. But, we can strap a couple of these. Well, and strap three. Well, four, perhaps. Can we change our symmetry mode? want the snaps because what I would really like is to put it on to airplane style symmetry such that I can strap several of them on actually it occurs to me I don't need to put them up here I can put them down here um, so in that case I will bin that I will grab my fins I will switch them to a four plane symmetry I know it's a bit excessive, but put that in, grab our science cans, and stick four of those science cans on. Now hopefully, uh, open altitude of 4,000, deploy whenever the pressure's that high, so we need to keep an eye on that. So, that should be fine. Uh, we will put a pilot, Jeb will fly. So you can see our delta V is reduced because we've got more weight. It makes up the fine burn times the same. Now we need to make sure we check our staging, because at the moment the parachute and the engine will fire at the same time. This will result in this either not going very far or going comically not very useful. So we're going very far but not very useful. So let's put the engine separated from this. So this will be the goo machine. V1. Goo machine one. Your objective, Goo Machine 1. Four Goo Pods and a trash can of bang. This will do several things. We'll be able to get a Mystery Goo on the ground. We'll be able to get a Mystery Goo further up. And if we land anywhere more interesting, we'll be able to grab a Mystery Goo again. Um, what do I want more on one of these? So I can. These only work once. Once you expose the goo, it gets shy and you can't get any more information out of it. So. Done. Save. Launch. All clear on the pad. No, science alert is telling me. Hang on, Jeb. I can get a mystery goo. Observe the mystery goo. 
Oh, Gu does not seem to be doing very much right now. Would you like to look at it? No. Nice. Apparently, we can get more science out of that, but I don't want to waste it just yet. So, in that case, all clear. Staging is good. Stage light is ready. Five, four, three, two, one. The science! And up we go. So we'll get another mystery gear report. Keep, we'll get. And crew report. And keep. We are not getting out of the rocket. <laughs> we are not getting out of the rocket. Notice this over down over here. Red. No, right, so we were originally in the position was aerodynamically inadvisable to be doing that. We were not getting out of the rocket. So stop telling me about the EVA report. All right, we are going up and then pretty much coming straight down. I have no idea if we're actually going to get any more, more interesting. We are out of thrust, so I probably should have tried leaning one way or the other. As it is, there's not a lot of point in popping the parachute just yet because we will just end up taking a very long time to come back down. Fortunately, we are now going down, like a lawn dart. Hmm. I'll pop the parachute at 3,000, and then watch that Jimmy to go mental as the thing swings around. I don't have enough uh, authority on the reaction wheels on the pod. 5,003, 2, 1. Parachute away. <laughs> That should fully deploy. When we hit a thousand. Really should fully deploy when we hit a thousand. This is nerve wracking, we're coming down far too fast. There we go. That was a bit painful. Look at that. G spike was quite a bit high there. I wonder if we'll get any rewards for that. So, yeah, sorry about that, Jeb. But, um,. We have drifted, of course, a little bit, um, so we are coming down. Ooh, fizzes warp, yes. We'll fizzes warp a bit, because I can't be bothered to wait for us to get all the way down to the ground. And there we go. 6.7 meters per second, and we're down. Mr. Groove, when landed on Kervin's pad of shores. All right, well, I might as well grab another one. Observe, no, mystery goo. Good, doesn't seem to be doing very much right. Well, we'll keep that. Can we? No, we don't apparently have enough control authority to roll it over. All right, well, let's um, get out and have a look. EV report one landed on Kerbin Shores. Mini EV report. Don't know if this will be useful or not, but get back in. So, yep, everything's inspected. We'll cover the vessel. So, what did we get for that little foray from Goo Machine 1? Well, we got 28, 17.3 7, science from... So the crew report from flying, yes, was good. EVA report from the launch pad, not a lot of use. Mystery Goo observed from the launch pad twice. We did get an actual one, uh, Mystery Goo observed while flying. Recovery vessel that survived our flight. Full set of parts, so we don't get anything for the solid fuel, because we used all that up. Nice. And crew-wise, ready for the next assignment. So, Jeb, Ernt, got more to load of science. Water for a first landing on Kerbin, yes, footsteps on Kerbin. Altitude over a thousand meters. We're standing 6G on the turn. <laughs> and going faster than that. All right, having done the little bit of bits and pieces like this, let's have a look at mission control. We've got some missions. Ooh, nice. Anomaly surveyors, a load of anomalies for us to pick up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting. Exploration. Escape the atmosphere, orbit to Kerbin. Part testing. Put a flea into orbit. Stactic lover. Ooh, in flight over mm -hmm. orbit. Alright. So between that or going that. That seems a bit tricky. Hammer booster. In flight? No, thank you. Scansats. Don't have that one yet. Surveys. Observational survey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Epon's whim. We need to go and fly somewhere for that. Well, there's none of these. That immediately something that useful. Escape the atmosphere. We potentially do. It give us a bit of extra cash. Part testing. Available. That's all. That's available. All right. Let's investigate the island airfield. Orbit. Static couplers. 
These survey ones aren't that interesting. I might probably... Well, it doesn't tell you where they are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jibbery to feed everyone's whim. It's like 117K7K. Well, if I knew where it was, I'd be more interested in having a look at it. But I don't have planes just yet. I've got very little. Mm -hmm. We're leaving that one for now. But I think what we will be doing is going over to the space plane hangar. We only got the runway pods. All right, cancel, fair enough. And what we will be doing is pretty much exactly the same mission again. Nope, 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 yes. Just off the runway. For the simplicity of it, so we need That's the button to switch to the other side of symmetry. Fair enough. But I want. No, oh, apparently I only get that type of symmetry here. Interesting. So if you want to get many more than that, apparently you need to build it elsewhere. Alright, oh, fair enough. Alright, fine. Then I will just grab things in pairs. We will put. The wings on there. That's one wing. I don't want one wing. I want four wings. That's not symmetrical. That won't fly. That will fly. Not as well as it could do. That's roughly about there. And blue. And then I want some science. There. There, so that's a full set. And apparently, I need another one. So I've had the symmetries arranged. Not Jeb, Valentina. And finally, we need to put parachute on the top. And again, check the staging. This will be runway. Second of our two missions. Go to. No! Go for. Save and launch. Nice. Hey, Val. Preserve that mystery goo. You get it from the runway. Nice. Alright. We are clear, we are ready, and we're going to try turning. We're going to head off. Well, let's try out and go out to sea, shall we? Whoops. That will be a recovery mode, because I've got the staging wrong. I just deployed the parachute, rather than the engine. Yay! We got a little bit of goo. Got a little bit of goo. Val didn't get any ribbons. <laughs> Whoops. Um, runway, put Val in runway goo 2, and launch that vessel please, and I will adjust the staging on the runway. There we go, now when I push the button the engine should fire. Observe the mystery goo. Take that, and then go. Don't have a lot of attitude control. But there we go. Don't want an EVA report from here. That would be dumb. That would involve getting out and hanging on while we were going quite quickly. Ooh. Whole load of records, got a little bit of extra cash from there. So as we gently pivot it over. Oh, looks like we put Jeb in it by accident. Oh well. Val will get the next flight. See ourselves pivoting. Should be coming over the water soon. Are we? 
am I actually going to get far enough out the, over the water? Or if I do, I need to make this more flatter trajectory. I think we are going to splash down so I can deploy the parachute. Which will then pop fully later on and give us another ridiculous a twist. But then Jeb's used to this. And then it's the massive, massive G. <laughs> yep, flying low over Kerbin Shores, apparently. We didn't get far enough out to count for it to be over flying over water. Alright, do the usual thing, time warp up a bit, and then make sure we deceed the time warp before we hit the ground so that we're not provoking the physics engine quite so badly. A gentle little sploosh. <laughs> I think I broke the fins off. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Observe the mystery goo. Keep experiment. Observe mystery goo. Keep experiment. Observe mystery goo. As I get it all wet. Wobbles around in its container and starts to seep out the holes. Nice. Give me a crew report from here. Yes, we record the cruiser's estimation. Nice. Jeb. Get out. There go. And fall into the water. You alright, Jeb? Let me need a report. I think it might have been. You're going to get a bit wet. Yeah, I didn't roll this over, did I? Climb. Climb. There we go. There we got you up. Grab. Get back in and draw your suit off. And we will recover this vessel. And then we will call it. So, we earned ourselves another 10 science from dunking the vessel in the water. So. Mystery group from Kerbin Shores rather than just on the launch pad, and that, that's nice. Here we go. Ready for next assignment, no XP gain. And he got EVA in Kerbin's waters and a splashdown ribbon. Alright, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I have been the Marmoset. These fine folk have been the Kerbals in their space program. We'll see you next time.